Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today we're going to have an early access look at Grunfelder land. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome to Grunfelder land. So here, this is a map by Ektad and Varuna. I'm probably saying everything wrong. I do apologize. Um, so the big update for this map is, well, there, there's a ton of stuff going on in this map. This is not a mod hub map. This is a map that's external to mod hub. However, um, it is very large and there is a lot going on in it that I'm going to try to cover in this video. So I will first say I am going to miss things. I do apologize. I mean, no disrespect to the modders or anyone who helped them uh, create this, quite honestly, this masterpiece. So anyhow, continuing on from there, um, also credits to Farming Agency for this, and you'll understand that in a second. So this is Grunfelder land. It is being updated and remodeled and revamped, um, and now it is available in English, which is a big deal. Um, and the modders have graciously allowed me to take an early access look at it. They're planning to release it from when you guys see this, which this should come out um when when this comes out the the actual map will come out probably in a week or so past that also understand this is a work in progress so some things will be not quite there or missing or not right um those will be fixed so just understand it's always being fixed bugs are bugs are always being looked at everything like that just kind of a disclaimer for this map so um to run this map well first off this is the pc only map and you'll understand why once we get done here um this is a 4x map so it's fairly large and we'll take a look at the map here in just a second so to run this map, it does require global company, at least. Um, it does support Maze Plus, Maze Plus Forge extension, Maze Plus Horse extension, Maze Plus CCM extension. Um, soon it will support Manure System. They're working with that. It is uh, seasons ready and it's ready for add-on straw harvest, and you should be able to run any combination or all of those. So um, <laughs> this is this map's amazing, guys. Um, this map features eight farms. Um, 145 fields, 18 forest areas, 35 production areas, 35, countless storage facilities, 16 cell points, at least 17 extra crop types that are just, that's just like crops that you can kind of grow and harvest, and I'll show you those in a second. Um, there's many more things you can produce. Um, there's updates for missions, so I won't say any more about the missions and anything like that, so make sure you look at the missions. Um, again, it's now in English. Um, there's a total of 135 crop or product types, if you include all the stuff from the uh, Maze Plus extensions, as well as all the different production plants on this map. So um, let's go ahead and take a look here at the at the uh the map so we're in new farmer mode so you start off with a hundred thousand dollars not 93 million i was doing some different stuff around the map i bought a lot of the land on here you start with no land on here i have bought most of it but you don't start with any land so just be aware of that um there are several different crop i mean look at all that so just so you guys can see all that let me pull that up on the screen here real quick for you so you guys will be able to see that so okay so looking at this obviously we have your basic crops wheat barley oat can geez wheat barley oat cotton canola sunflower soy corn potatoes sugar beets um oil seed radish poplars grass sugar cane then we're adding rye uh triticle spelt millet poppy hops tobacco, carrots, onions, lettuce, cabbage, elephant grass, lucerne, clover, arable grass, horse grass, and pasture grass. So those are all the various things um, that are added on. You're welcome to take a screenshot of this if it would help you. I don't have grass activated um, on this, but uh, you're welcome to take a screenshot if it would help you. But let me go ahead and shut that down. So back into the map here, if we zoom in, this is a 4X map, so this thing is massive. There are tons of fields. Um, so the forest areas are all um, going to be noted by these W's that are on there. So um, those are all the different forest areas, various forest areas. Again, and I bought a lot of land, but we won't worry about that in a second. Um, all your starting equipment is out here at the shop. So let's actually take a look at that real quick. So here is all your starting equipment all put right down here. So that is all right there. So if I go into the store here um, and I go over here and I go into the garage um, you have a John Deere 6230R, you have a Fent Vario, or Fent 716 Vario, you have a John Deere T560, you have a, uh, a Jaskin trailer, you also have a grain header for your John Deere, you also have a uh, subsoiler, and you also have a cedar, 
a fertilizer and lime spreader, which is fantastic. And you also have two mowers there, decent sized mowers as well. Uh, tether, a small one drawer. You also have a uh, small loading wagon as well as a front loader attachment. You have different front loader tools such as a bucket. You have a bill spike and you also have a header trailer as well as a John Deere weight. Um, as far as modded placeables, well, global companies installed because of everything going on. And this is part of the uh, Forge Plus stuff, Maze Plus Forage there. Um, I'm not an expert on that. I am working on learning more and more about that. I am eventually going to do a tutorial series on my channel about how to use that. So, but I'm not going to go into detail on that. I'm just going to mention it is an extremely important feature here. Thanks to farming agency. So fantastic. Um, so the one thing that's on here, which is because of that is going to be, you have this guy right here and you also have the horse extension there. So everything else is pretty much base game. There's no special placeables in here from what I can tell. Um, okay. So past that. Um, yeah, we're here at the store. I also wanted to show you guys all the different terrains you can landscape. So here we have just a dirt terrain. We have um, the kind of the lighter cement, another dirt terrain, kind of your wood chip forest leaves on the ground terrain. Then you have grass terrain there, a more sparse grass terrain. You also have, of course, this basic cement. Then we have uh, kind of a sandy, a rocky, and then we have the tiled cement and the gravel. So all of these are there available for you. So I figured I'd get that set up first. Um, yeah, so going down, there's so many things on here to go over. Uh, we are going to drive around uh, the major. Well, we're probably not going to drive around this map, I'll say, because it's so massive and there's so much going on. We are probably going to just do a flyover. And I know some of you like to have both. This one, I'm kind of making the executive call to just do a flyover. Otherwise, this video will be like two hours long. Because, and you'll see why this this map is incredible. Um, so here we are up here at the store. So we're going to take a look at around some of these cell points. Again, there are 17 cell points. Um, if we go, let's just work our way across here. So uh, there are contract work. And again, there's some special things about that that I'll let you guys discover. Um, coming over here, we start off again, I mentioned $100,000 and you have uh, no starting loan. And we already went over the starting equipment that you start with. And these sell points, 17 in here. So tons of sell points, tons of crops. Look at that top row as we go across. We're, we're halfway done now. <laughs> Now, a lot of that is from Maze Plus and everything like that, or some of it is, I should say, not, maybe not even a lot of it, and some of it's the base game stuff, and it's all labeled, which is fantastic. Um, so we'll go over those in just a minute. Um, I will say as well, if we go here into the map, um, the first farm here, so the farms are noted by H's on here, so H1 is here, H2 is here, H3 is, gosh, that's the one I always lost, I think. No, it's down here, H3 h4 h5 h6 h7 right next to where we're at and h8's right there so h1 now these icons won't pop up um unless you're in I, my understanding is that if you're in multiplayer it's set up to be in multiplayer and if you do set up multiplayer to have it run the way it should make sure even if you're not going to have eight people playing you have eight different farms set up and one has each of these h properties that are the farms the starting farms. so just make sure um there's a farm set up in game that has each of those owned. So just kind of be aware of that. Uh, make sure that's set up. This one has sheep built in. And then, oh, if I remember correctly, and we'll double check, I believe H3 has cows. I believe H4 has pigs. And H5 has chickens. I think that's, if I remember correctly, and I believe the, believe the rest of them don't have anything, but they have lots of other cool details uh, beyond that as well. So. Um, if we go into the global company menu, I own all the production. The production plants are noted by all these various sections here. And you can, if we turn everything else off besides those, um, there's tons of them everywhere. So quarry, metal factory, butcher, carpenter, bakery, fertilizer factory, glazier, tailor, latex factory, Havana club, central storage, jammery, dairy, um, <laughs> kebab factory, brewery, industrial area, fuel station, um, de dessert factory, packaging, fishery, sandwich factory, compost factory, rubber plantation, orchard, greenhouses, fuel station, uh, water treatment. There's different stuff. And you may see some language crossovers like we have some, um, you have other languages kind of mixed in here um, as part of the crossover. So most of it should be in English. And again, they're still ironing out a lot of kinks. So don't worry too much about that. Um, and it definitely doesn't affect the way you play on this bad boy because this thing is incredible. Um, okay. So I do want to talk a little bit about all these different features we have in here. So I do want to show off some of um, all these different crop types. So I've kind of made a way to kind of do that a little bit easier. 
So I have made this setup here. So going from the top, we obviously have our basic crops, wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, cotton, sugar cane, eggs, wool, milk, uh, total mix rationed. We also have forage. We have WCS, which is part of uh, Maize Plus, wood chips, WCS fermented, grass, and then we have grass again, A, straw, uh, round bales, fertilizer, carrot, onion, lettuce, cabbage, red cabbage, millet, rye, poppy, hop, spelts, compost, logs, cotton bales, empty pallets, wood pallets, um, gosh, it's harder to see, crest wood, yeah, crest wood, charcoal, carton pallets, flour, spelt flour, rye flour, uh, poppy buns, sunflower buns, wheat buns, apples, plums, cherries, peaches, sugar, molasses, cheese, and that's just the first section of them here. Um, so let me put up the second section. So we also have butter, uh, quirk, quirk, okay, yogurt, sheep milk, sheep cheese, gravel sand, uh, peeled potatoes, vegetable soup, sausages, uh, steak, cauliflower, melons, pumpkin, tomato, sandwich, um, bio waste, steak buns, bottles, beer, filters, textile, furniture, um, coffins, <laughs> Havana Club, um, Arasco, um, tobacco, paper, uh, not, well, tobacco, then paper, not tobacco paper, um, Marlboro, I can never say that brand, it's a brand of cigarettes, I can never say it, uh, peach jam, plum jam, kebab, skewers, natural yogurt, kebabs, coffee beans, fish, and then this one, I'm not sure, it's missing the fill type. Again, that's one of those things that's gonna be ironed out. Uh, caviar, smoked fish. Then there's four types of rock stars, uh, which is an energy drink, whipped cream, apple cake, cheesecake, black forest cherry, I'm assuming pie, cake, something on there. Um, yes, <laughs> and I can't say that. I don't know if you two will uh, be upset about it, so I'm not gonna say it. Uh, pants, jackets, straight jackets. <laughs> <laughs> paper bags, plastic bags, withered grass, lucerne fresh, uh, Walter lucerne, and then basically the, the third row here is just all the other kind of, a lot of these are the, the maize plus type stuff, so those are all the different crop types on there, so uh, if you need any of those, you can go ahead and screenshot those so you have those available to you. Gosh, that was funny. Oh, man. Okay, so the other thing I want to note as well is there's a lot of crops on there, and I want to talk about how they are, um, or at least some of them are uh, created or produced or you know whatever the case may be so um as far as well we'll just go across the the crops up here so if we talk about the different ones that are in actually no we'll do this because it's kind of these ones on here so rye is one of the additional ones that one's planted with the cedar and use a grain header to harvest it uh triticle um is also cedar grain header spelt is a cedar and a grain header millet is a cedar and a grain header to harvest it poppies planted with the cedar and use a grain header to harvest it harvest it excuse me hops are uh, planted with a planter not a cedar and then they use a corn header to harvest tobacco is the same where it uses a planter to plant it corn header to harvest carrots you can either use a cedar or a planter and there's a there's a couple of specialized harvesters which i'll show off in a second and that is the same with onions cedar or planter and a couple of specialized harvesters then the lettuce and the cabbage are both both planted with a planter and they use a homer header and i'll show that in a second to harvest them then elephant grass um, is going to be planted with a planter and you're going to harvest it with i believe a mower again i'm not an expert on some of these things clover um, is going to be or lucerne is going to be a cedar then a mower to, to harvest it clover is going to be a cedar to plant it and then a grain header to harvest it arable grass and horse grass are both cedar and mower um, to harvest it pasture grass is a cedar and a mower as well so or sorry clover is with a mower arable grass is with a grain header that's the one that you harvest with a grain header if i'm not mistaken um, so let's take a look at a couple of those options in here so here we have these guys then we have this very special one that has all these different crops on it and i'll show you the headers for those um, so if we go over here and go to beet technology you got your basic stuff in here but then we get over here so you have a cabbage one um, you have an, a carrot one, a lettuce one, a onion one, and a potato one. So I can do potatoes with that too, which is pretty sweet. And this is not the end does cabbage. This is the pole behind. Now we also have under potato technology, we have the carrot machine here, the onion machine here, which if you played on Sandy Bay 19, for example, it has that. Um, and then you have both the uh, carrot and the onion top remover there. So um, those are, I don't think I'm missing anything there. So that's kind of, oh, I guess we can look at this too. So there's what you're going to get. You have the tobacco and hops on there as the additional ones. And then if we go to like a grain header, 
Um, it's going to have all those different stuff. Nothing new with the Helianthus header. It's just for uh, sunflowers still. So there's all those new crop types that are kind of listed under that as well. So I think that's all of that stuff to mention. Man, this is incredible. So all your stuff here is at the store. Um, we are going to tour the map, I do promise. Um, we are about 15 minutes or so in already into this. Um, and just going over some of these these neat features. So let me get us set up to do a tour of this bad boy, and I'll bring you guys back in. All right, let's go ahead and take a look around this map. So we have the store here, as you know. We have a repair trigger down there. We have the store trigger there. Plenty of good pictures in there. It's a class dealership. Um, coming around, let's see here. Let's go ahead and put the map on so we can see where we're at. So as far as touring this, I think what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to check out this little section here, and then we're going to head across the bridge, and I think we're going to make a big loop up around here to make sure we're hitting everything. So as far as production goes, I'm going to go over, uh, I'm going to try to go over briefly these production plants as we go by them, similar to how I do with the sell points. So that is what I, my goal is to do that. So we're at the shop here. So let's take a look over here. So this down here is the jammery. You have a nice, lovely photo there, Marvel Laden. But uh, so uh, we'll take a look at, and we'll do it in chunks. So we'll take a look at the jammery, the dairy, and the central storage all at the same time here. So the jammery is going to be right here. Over here, we do have a cell point. We have the market cell point right here, that little hazard box there. So, oops, sorry. So there's where we're at. That's where we started out there. This is the whole map. We're kind of pretty central in it. So we're taking a look at this zone. So you have kind of a construction site there. You have the jammery is the one with the smokestack. You have the store there, all of our starting equipment. And there's a starting farm over there, which we'll take a look at in just a minute. So that is a cell point there. Now, if we come down here, just down south of here, we should have another production plant. That's going to be this guy right here. So here we have the dairy. So this is the dairy production plant here. A little bit of lag there, but that's probably because I'm just flying around and it's trying to load everything in. So here we have the dairy point. And you'll notice too, a lot of times the actual trigger or the actual indicators are going to be where the entrance is on the roadway to get into these. Uh, so do you notice that? there? <laughs> that's cool. I like that on the... <laughs> that's awesome okay anyhow h7 so farm 7 is right here so you kind of have an entrance over there this loops in right behind the store so you have this is this is how this farm is set up here so you do have a silo right here which i'm not sure if that's one that you have to open or not or if you can just pull up over top of it but then you do have plenty of shed space there and there so fantastic and these doors should come open yep there you go so coming in here, you have plenty of doors that are going to open up to get you. Now, obviously, they're going to kind of compete with each other a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so just open the one you need at a time. But, uh, yeah, so you do have that there, and you have this guy right over here. You can use this as a, I believe, a sleep trigger you can use this as if you buy this. Well, no, we own this land right now. Um, let's see here. You probably can get a mod like the Alien Gym doormat or anything. Um, just to get your sleep trigger put in wherever you want. So you can get that done pretty easily. So, um, all right, let's hop up here. Then over here, we have <laughs> Helga's Beer Garden. The Helga's Beer Garden is a cell point. Let's see if I can't find the trigger here. All right, should be... Oh, right there, there we go. So there is the trigger point for that. And then right up the road, oops, right up the road here, we have another production plant. We have the central storage. So this is the central storage center right here. So going into the menu here, let's take a look at Helga's Beer Garden and the market in the store. So, all right. Helga's Beer Garden, I don't know why we're selected already, but perfect, is going to buy, going all the way across, lots of stuff to check here. They're gonna buy beer, that does make sense. Oh, there we go, highlighted. They're also gonna buy apple cake and cheesecake. And that is all that I can see for that. Um, what was the other one we had on there? The market. Okay, and the market is going to buy... Ooh, there we go. So we're going to buy potatoes, sugar beets, cotton, sugar cane, eggs, wool, and milk. And they're also... That's a low price for milk, uh, possibly, depending on the production. Then there's carrots, onions, lettuce, cabbage, and red cabbage, which they're going to take. And they're also going to take hops. Let's keep moving across here. They're also going to take apples, plums, cherries, and peaches which those are really low, so those must be a high yield of some type. 
Moving further across, we have sheep milk that they will take. They will also take peeled potatoes, and they will also take melons, pumpkins, textiles, tobacco. And moving across, I think that's everything. So, yeah, I think the easiest way to go about it, especially with this many products, is find out what product you're going to make or want to make and click on it and see where the highest prices are or what the prices are like that one. You can only sell it at one place. So um, that's the way to note for that. So taking a look at production, let's look at the jammery, the dairy, and the central storage. So if we go into control G to open this up, so central storage is right there. So carton storage, cartons, you get carton pallets, paper storage, paper, you get paper, I'm assuming pallets of it. Um, empty can storage, empty cans, empty cans. I'm assuming you're gonna put them into a pallet form or you're just gonna store them in there for all I know. Um, canned food, Rasco storage. So it looks like that is pretty much a storage. This is the only one that goes from cartons to carton pallets, it looks like actually. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's gonna move those into a pallet form or not, or if it's just literally just a storage. Um, all right, then we also have the dairy, which is gonna be this guy right here. So if that's where we're at down there. You can also see those on the map. So uh, that central storage will show up if I can find it again. Central storage right there. So the dairy, we'll open that up. There's a lot of products in here. So sheep cheese, you can take milk and empty pallets and carton pallets, and you're gonna make sheep cheese. You can also make cheese using milk, empty. I'm not gonna go into all the things, we'll just go into what they make. How about that? Because otherwise we will be here forever. So cork, you can also make cork, yogurt, butter, uh, natural yogurt, whipped cream. So those are your products right there that you can make um, there. And the final one we need to take a look at, oh yes, the, of course, the jammery. All right, so, all right, that can be it. Yep, that's the jammery, so jam production. And again, that's a good indicator right there to help find that. Open that up, you can make peach jam and plum jam there. Okay, so going to the map, we are now, as I mentioned, gonna shoot across the lake here um, and head this way. So very cool bridge here, I like this. This kind of winds down to it. You got around this forestry area here. Yeah, very nifty, very nifty. Trying to give you guys as much perspective on the map as possible and kind of going as slow enough to kind of make our way around it. We might actually have to speed ourselves up just a touch um, just to help us get through a little bit more of it. So coming down here, we have two more cell points down here at the bottom. So again, big four, big, huge forestry areas. So if you go down here to these cell points here, Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see if we can't find these checkered marks. There's one right there. So this is going to be the lake field. And then clothing is going to be, I'm assuming, like a little shop over here. There's the clothing indicator there. So let's take a look at those. We have uh, lake field is going to take, well, we'll get to those in a second. Let's go back to the beginning here. Make sure we're not missing anything. It's down here on this row now. They are going to take caviar, smoked fish, and that is everything. And then we also have clothing, which let's shoot back to the beginning here. Make sure we're not missing anything. Clothing is gonna take, I'm assuming, some of the clothing articles towards the end here. Yes, they're gonna take pants and jackets, but not uh, straight jackets. The asylum takes straight jackets. <laughs> oh gosh. Well done, well done. <laughs> Going across further, <laughs> nothing else takes those, so. Uh, fantastic. And that was clothing, right? That we're at. Yes. Okay. So loop around this and we'll take a look at Kiosk Northwest and we'll take a look at some of these fields as we go through. Uh, the other thing I want to look at, if possible, is start looking at a couple of the fields that have some of those additional crops so you can kind of see what they're going to look like and stuff like that. I may not hit all of them, but I'm going to try to hit a couple of the new ones that are out there. So we'll do that as well. Uh, maybe here in the next, after we take a look at this next point, maybe we'll take a second to do that uh, just to kind of um show off some of the crops and what they look like in fields and everything like that so that is something i think is kind of important to note and kind of show off if possible so heading up this road here so we have another there's plenty of bridges that go across as you keep moving your way up across some of these areas uh the fields are relatively open there's trees in between them but there's not a lot there's not like hedges around them or anything like that so it's it's pretty simple for the most part to work your way around ah so here we have another cell point right here so this is the kiosk northwest so let's go find that the kiosk northwest let's shoot back to the beginning here move our way across they are going to take kebabs and they're going to take two of the rock stars take rock star punched and rock star sour 
And are they going to take anything else? No, they're not. So they just sell kebabs and rock stars here, which is fantastic. So <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, let me take a quick second because I think I'm going to be able to do this in a little bit easier of a way um, where I have a little bit more stuff kind of prepared because just thinking about this, going through this map tour like this is going to take us a little bit. So just give me one second here. All right, this should be much easier now. So we're going to continue up this way. Um, there is some forestry on the side. Can you get to this forestry over here? This You cannot, but there's a chunk up there at the top you can buy and do something with. So this way I'm I'm I shouldn't have to go into the menus as much now. I uh set it up a little bit better so this should work out a little bit better to make it a little bit smoother, I think. That heads up to that forestry area up there. Oops. It's right up in there. So this section of town we have a few things going on. So first things first, we have the sandwich factory here, which the sandwich factory produces sandwiches, steak buns, and bio waste. Now I'm not going to go into all the ingredients to make all this stuff. I can't. I we would literally be here for hours, which is fantastic because this map is that in depth and that crazy, which is awesome. Um, <laughs> so definitely go look it up on your own. But um, down here we do have the fishery. So the fishery is going to produce caviar and smoked fish. Um, we also have if we shoot up here. We have another one of the starting farms right here, which has a sheep pasture on it. So this is the only one right now that uh, shows up as the animal the animal icon shows up on the map for. Um, I believe that's something that's being worked on. So um, not only do you have sheep here, you also have structures and various storages and whatnot. So fantastic. And these storages are, my understanding is each one holds quite a bit of stuff as far as being more of like a dynamic storage system. So um, yeah, and then you have plenty of storage there. You have an entrance out the back there. It looks like you have a hayloft there and an entrance out this way or an exit out this way, depending on how you look at it. Um, so yeah, then down here, this should be the dessert factory. Yes. So this guy right here on the corner is the dessert factory. Uh, the dessert factory produces apple cake, cheesecake, and black forest cherry cake. Cheesecake being my favorite. That sounds really good now because uh, of that. <laughs> then heading over this way. So... You have that there. Lots of nice little town city set up in here. Um, if we come over here, we have a cell point. So this cell point right here is for the baking company. So let me scroll my list down. I have a nice big list over here. The baking company buys ill, not ill, they buy eggs, milk, poppy buns, sunflower buns, wheat buns, sheep milk, sandwiches, and steak buns. And then over here, uh, so this shows up as packaging, but it shows up as some, so some of these things show up a little bit different inside of the global company menu. I sold off most of the factories because I was typing out stuff about each one of them, but the packaging uh, plant here produces uh, paper bags and plastic bags. So if that's what you're looking to produce, that's what's going to help you do it. Now, if we continue along the outskirts of the map here and follow this down this way, uh, right down here, we have the cemetery. <laughs> Which, is this where the cell point's at, or is it down here? Yes, yeah, down here. So here's the entrance you're going to want to go to. Uh, the cemetery uh, buys coffins. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to sell some co coffins off, um, this is the perfect place to do it. Um, yeah, all right. <laughs> Anywho, um, this section right here, what do we got here? This is the, oh, the rubber plantation. So this is the rubber plantation, and it produces, as you might be shocked to find out, it produces rubber for you. Um, then if we come over here, we actually have uh, farm number two, which is just a large placeable farm area. So fantastic. You have plenty of room to do whatever you wish with. So if that's what you kind of want to do, then you have that option available. And then if we head over here, so we'll head back up this way. So that's all along that road. Um, that's where we came from is up that way. That heads further into the map. That's where the cemetery is at. Over here, we have the um, orchards, which produces apples, plums, cherries, and peaches. So that's what we have here. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. No, okay. Um, we are going to jump down, I think, and take a look at these guys, and then we'll head up and take a look at the greenhouses. So um, if we follow this road along here, which this map is huge, absolutely massive. <laughs> There's plenty of room. You could, I mean, can you buy this chunk here? Ah, oh, you can't. You can buy, I mean, you can buy the orchard, but you can't buy that chunk of open space there. That'd be kind of nice if you could do that. Um, so right here we have, this is the compost factory. Yes, this is the compost factory, which as you might be guessing produces compost. Then up here next, we have the rockstar energy plant, which as you can imagine, produces all four 
flavors, if you will, of the rock stars that are on this map, which is fantastic. And then we have the Weaver, which produces textiles and filters. So filters are like for the cigarettes, my guess is. Um, and then down here we have a fuel station. So there's a fuel station for you right there. Now, when you buy the fuel station, and I could be just new to this, but they do show up as a production plant. So if you buy it, and then you go into the production menu and you go down to the, you know, the petrol station, the fuel station, it says it inputs diesel and it outputs diesel. So I don't, I'm not sure how that, uh, yeah, sure, I don't know. I don't know how that's all gonna go or how that works or why it does that or if any of that matters at all. But uh, and it says it does that many liters per hour, which is awesome. So I don't know how that works or why that's like that or if that even matters at all and it's just just the way it is. But uh, if we come up here, we have the, oh gosh, what is it? The greenhouses. So following this trek up here to these bad boys. So the greenhouses are pretty important. They produce quite a bit of different uh, crops that you're gonna need. So uh, the greenhouses here produce cauliflower, red cabbage, melons, pumpkins, tomatoes, and coffee beans. So they produce quite a bit of extra stuff for us. So now if we head around this way and we are gonna head all the way this way, all the way around the outside, still working our way around the outside. Um, so if you look at the map real quick, we started out down here at the store. We looked at these guys, headed across, worked our way around here, worked our way up here, took a look at around these guys, came out here, took a look at these guys, dropped down, took a look at these, head back up, took a look at the greenhouses, and now we are where we're at now. So like i mean that field's massive there so i mean there are like some big fields on here if you want to do some bigger and 145 doesn't look that big on the map but that is a big field so i mean these fields aren't small per se there there's some decent sized fields on here but uh anyhow here is the water treatment plant which produces water i know shocking as it may be so it produces water now if we follow this road which this is really cool up here so i like that piping and everything like that that is super nifty uh, so if you follow this road around here, which you can, um, follow it around and come out this way. Then if you head further along, instead of taking that little side path, you keep following the actual main road this way. You're going to come across this section right here, um, which is going to be the roadworks, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and they are going to buy from you gravel and sand. So they will buy gravel and sand here from you, which there's the sell point for that right there. Now, if we continue on, which does make sense, they got to fix that road. That thing's in rough shape, but... Uh, yeah, if we keep going down this way, we're going to keep shooting along. So we're kind of out here in the woods, more of the mountainous region, if you will. Or, I mean, I know it's not real super mountainous, but uh, <laughs> then you have nice details like that. Fantastic. I feel like I'm going to miss a lot of those small details in this map tour, and I do apologize for that. Definitely not my intention by any means, but um, there's just so much to cover in this map tour. As it is, is going to be a fairly long one just because I want to make sure I get everything in that I feel is really important, which I I think is important. So... Yeah, and, I'm, and I guarantee, again, I mentioned at the beginning, I guarantee I'm going to miss something. But uh, anyhow, here we have the Havana Club, which this produces Havana, or Havana Club. So uh, there you have it. We continue working our way down this way, still shooting around the outside. I mean, we're just, we've just, this whole section up here is just the top, the top part of the map. We have the whole bottom part, which the bottom part is much larger too. So, I mean, there really is a lot going on um so that it just it's crazy so i will mention here that we have farm eight is it or no farm eight's over here we'll look at farm eight real quick so farm eight is just um this guy that's right around over here we'll shoot over to farm eight here so which is a fair distance away to be honest so farm eight i'm not sure if these these look like they're more of like a dynamic storage yeah that's cool some of that different the silage and fermenting stuff and mixing that's cool um, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff on this one here. And again, I'm not going to be able to go into all the detail how every single aspect of this uh, map works. I just, I don't have, there's not enough time in the day right now. So a lot of it's going to be you kind of figuring out what you want to do and doing what you want to do on the farm and picking a farm that works for you and kind of making it work. But, uh, yeah, so that's cool. That's very detailed. I like that in, out, in, out. Perfect. So anyhow, that is farm number eight. So if we shoot back over here. We're going to take a look next at, let me zoom in here. Next here, we'll look at this guy right here, which this is the latex factory. So the latex factory is going to produce latex, which is, I know, shocking to you probably. Uh, if we hop over here, so, and I apologize, this route isn't maybe the most ironed out. We came in that way. So to get to the latex factory, you'd probably want to head down that route and in here and around there. But to head out to farm eight, that would be how you just go. You just keep following that country road there. So 
Um, down here, we do have a sell point, as I mentioned. This is um, Aldi, which I'm gonna show you in the menu here what it buys, since it buys a lot of things. So it's gonna take all your basic cereal crops, as you can see at the top there. It's gonna take root crops there. It's gonna take sugarcane, cotton. Keep going across, take carrots, onions, lettuce, cabbage, red cabbage, millets. Um, it's also gonna take your rye, your poppy, your hops, your spelt. Does it take anything else? I swear it takes some other stuff. Yeah, cheese, yogurt. Um, it's also gonna take sausages, steak, uh, sandwiches, steak buns, beer, filters. Um, it's also gonna take Havana Club, Erasco, uh, tobacco, uh, Mar I can never say it, Marlboro, Marlboro, Mar Marlboro uh, peach jam, plum jam, kebab skewers, uh, natural yogurt, uh, and then two flavors of Rockstar there, the sour and the punched. It's also going to take apple cakes and paper bags and plastic bags. That makes sense. Probably like kind of a grocery store. And that is everything from that. So um, there, that is for you. Then dropping right down here, right next to it, we have, what is this bad boy? This is the Taylor. So the Taylor also comes up as the Weaver inside of the uh, global company menu, if I remember correctly. So just be aware of that. And they produce pants, jackets, and straight jackets. Fabulous. Um, so they produce those guys, um, which is awesome. So let me move down my list a little bit more here. We also have Farm 3, which is going to be this guy right here. Um, this one does have, oh, excuse me, this has, is it cows? Yeah, cows built in right here. So kind of a standard base game. You can't sell any of this. It also has a bunker silo there. Um, so none of this stuff is sellable at the moment. So, yeah, you have everything you can need here. Dynamic storages, huge amount of storage space on these bad boys, all of them. Um, looks like a little bit of a hayloft there. More storage here. These guys are going to open up. You have plenty of storage space for vehicles and everything you can need on any of these farms. So um, that is definitely a good feature. Now, if we head around the outside here, past, uh, well, not past, but, uh, well, yeah, past. This is the tailor there that we just mentioned. But over here, we have the glazier, which produces bottles and mason jars. So there you have that. And now if we work our way down this road here, we're going to get to this section here, which is the fertilizer factory, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, fertilizer factory. Make sure I'm talking about the right things at the right time. The fertilizer factory is going to produce fertilizer and compost. So you have that set up right in here. All right, if we continue down, I want to make sure we're heading the right way. Yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to loop in here, take a look at this section, head over, up, across, take a look at everything up here. And then we're going to work our way down to these guys and kind of slowly kind of snake our way through the bottom of the map. So again, we started out there and we looped our way all the way around, took a look at all this stuff and head around here. And at the very end, we're going to try to go through and look at some of those different crops, hopefully in a harvested state. But I do want to look at some of the crops or in a ready to harvest state, some of those other new crops that are on the map. So I do want to look at some of those. Again, these fields are decent size and you can get some probably some pretty big equipment around these guys, which is fabulous really i'm myself and kind of a impartial i like to use larger equipment if i can but sometimes it's not always possible so a huge roundabout i mean this even this the detail look at this city this thing is incredible i mean you could have time just driving around this bad boy this is amazing i i, I really do like this map quite a bit this is a fa fabulous map and the more the more i learn about the detail that has been put in it the more i get kind of excited about it so um, which I'm, I'm not very good at hiding my emotions, which I don't think is a bad thing. So <laughs> where is the other cell point? Is it going to be, where is that other one? At? So we have it. Oh, is it right in here? Yep. Here we go. Okay. So we do have a couple of cell points in here. This is, um, Adika active and this over here is market coffee. So, uh, Adika active. We're going to look at in the menu here in a second. Um, let's actually just, we'll just do that real quick. So Adika active, where are we at? And yes, there we are. Okay. So they're going to take wheat, canola, sunflowers. They'll also take corn, potatoes, and sugar beets, sugar cane. The movement across, they're going to take carrots, onions, lettuce, cabbage, red cabbage, millets, rye, poppy, hops, spelt. Then if we continue, they're also going to take molasses and butter. Uh, sheep cheese, they'll also take peeled potatoes, vegetable soup, sausage, steak. Um, they'll also take sandwiches, steak buns, beer, filters, uh, furniture. They'll also take Havana Club, Erasco, um, Mar Mar just those, you know what I mean. Um, moving across, take Rockstar Freezes, Rockstar Revolts. Um, and they're also going to take those guys right there. 
which I don't know what YouTube likes about them or not. But anyhow, <laughs> take those guys. I'm very cautious with stuff that's not really even, I don't know, probably doesn't even matter. But, uh, oh, Market Coffee over there. So let me scroll down my list here a little bit. So um, I thought I had Market Coffee on here. Where we go? Oh, yeah. They're going to buy Apple Cake, Cheesecake, Black Forest, Cherry Cake. So they're going to buy those three things for it, which I thought they'd buy coffee, but they don't. I don't, I'm pretty sure they don't. Where's coffee at on here? Also, I figured out this is ore. So that's ore if you're looking for that. But coffee beans are not purchased anywhere. Okay. They're just used for making rock stars, I think. Uh, fantastic. Okay. So let me see here. What else do we have in this little section? So we can look at the butcher, the carpenter, and the bakery here. So we'll take a look over here at the butcher, which is going to be, gosh, right over here. Here we go. So here is the, make sure I'm at the right spot. Yep. So this is the butcher. The butcher is going to produce steak, sausage, kebab skewers, and leather. So leather is a byproduct from all those if you're producing those. And then if we move over here, gosh, there's so, so many cool details on this. I could seriously spend, I mean, I could spend, I feel like years playing on this map and enjoying it, but I could spend, gosh, I could spend even longer just trying to find my way around or like not even, maybe not even longer. I could spend a very good amount of time uh, just showing it off. But uh, right here should be, is this it? Yeah, this should be it. The bakery? Is this the bakery? Yeah, this is the bakery. Okay. So the bakery is going to produce... Oh, excuse me. Uh, where'd it go on there? I thought I had it in there. Oh, it's going to produce poppy buns, wheat buns, sunflower buns. So those guys for you. Um, and then the carpenter over here, when we look at it here in a second. Um, let's see here. Let's jump over to the carpenter. So here's the carpenter. So they are going to produce coffins and furniture. So fantastic. So if you wanted to produce those things, uh, you can. All right. We are now going to continue over and we're going to jump over to the fuel station. So that is our next stop on our elaborate tour of this map. Man, my voice is getting sore just talking about this map for so long, but that's that's okay. That's a good thing, I think. Um, there's, there's, there's so many cool things on this map. I... I'm so thankful I get the opportunity to actually tour it, but I mean, I feel like I'm not doing the, the map justice. There's so much going on on it, guys. You seriously have to give it a try and go on here and figure more stuff out. And I'm sure you guys will leave comments down below about all the stuff that I miss, because I guarantee I miss things. It just, it, I can't, there's no way, I, can, I don't think I could go through this without. But uh, okay, anyhow, so we have a fuel station right there. You can see the little yellow top building there. And then we have another farm here, so. Here is this bad boy for you right here. Plenty of garage space, a crane in this one even, and another crane of some type down here for moving stuff around or whatever the case may be. Some different stuff there for going in and out. But uh, yeah, so you have that. Hey, this reminds me of the police station I have on uh, No Man's Land. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's awesome. I wonder if the garage is open on this guy too. They do, look at that. Oh man, that's awesome. That is awesome. Farmer Cop approves of the police station. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, gosh. Let's head around this way. I think what are we going to look at next? Um, let me see here. Okay, we can do that. We also have, yeah, we'll head up here and take a look at this. So we do have a cell point right here, which I think is in, or no, it's over. Is it over here? No, that looks like a production plant. The cell point. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, here we go. It's right in front of me. Jeez. Okay, so this is the LIDL. Um, we're going to look at that in the store here because there's a lot of stuff going on with it. Um, so they're going to take your basic cereal crops here, as you can see along the bottom, uh, potatoes, sugar beets, cotton, and sugar cane. And if we keep going, they're going to take carrots, onions, lettuce, cabbage, red cabbage, millets. Um, they'll also take rye, poppy, hops, spelt. Are they going to take anything else? They're also going to take quark or quark. I don't know how to say it. Uh, sheep cheese. They're also going to take vegetable soup, sausages, and steak. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They're going to take sandwiches, steak buns. Um, they're also going to take beer, furniture, Havana Club, tobacco, the dreaded things that shall not be... Well, no, not that I don't have the one that shall be in the beginning. They're the ones I can't name. Mar... mar blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you get it. Okay. We'll keep moving. <laughs> Rockstar Punch, Rockstar Revolt. Um... And they do take the things that shall not be named. Oh, well, look at that. Let me keep moving. And that is everything. Okay. So that is those guys there. Now, right here, we do have a production plant that was right behind us. So this is 
oh geez what is it the kebab factory so the kebab factory as you'll be shocked to learn produces kebabs um so yeah i know that's kind of shocking to you but uh they do produce kebabs there at the kebab factory and down here we have another production plant this is the industrial area which the industrial area as actually shows up as paper factory or something like paper mill or paper or something like that in the global company menu uh because they produce well they produce paper and then coming over here, I think we have the brewery over here. What we got going on over here? I think that's what's going on. Maybe is that the brewery? Yeah, it's the brewery. Okay, yeah, yeah. So this is the brewery here, which they produce beer, which I know is another huge shocker for you guys, but they do produce beer at the brewery. So next, we're going to shoot down here, take a look at these three bad boys, the sugar factory, the refinery, and the wood chipper. Then we're going to go jump onto a rasco and kind of work our way around that way. Man, this is such a cool map. The production on this thing, there's so many things I just want to make that I've never been able to make on Farming Simulator that I've never known I could make on there. And I love that they put that on there. That's so cool. They're putting that in there just in different spots. I like that. I like a little tidbit that they're throwing in there. A little, yeah, I, I love it. Um, but here we are at the sugar factory. So they produce sugar and molasses. So that does all make sense there. Now if we come down here, this is just a... Uh, or this is a refinery. Sorry. That's just a wood chipper. This is a refinery So they're gonna produce diesel and bio waste. I think they take canola to do that So you can do that here and then down here we have just a wood chipper They take logs and they produce wood chips for you. So just very basic for you now If we jump down this way kind of diagonally here, we'll have another production plant That's way down back. You can I mean you can see it It doesn't seem that far away and if you look in the map from there to there, but this is I mean it's a ways So if we fly down here, this is the Erasco Plant. I'm probably saying that wrong. I apologize. And they produced Erasco. So fantastic. You have that right there. That is a very large factory. I mean, they're huge production plants on this thing, which is awesome. So let's take a look here. We're going to get ready to head over and take a look at uh, Farm 5, looks like. And then we're going to take a look at the Durex factory, factory and then Woodworks. So we'll keep going to look at those guys. I swear we're getting close to the end of this map tour, guys. This is probably one of my, this is probably gonna be one of my longest map tours ever because I think this is the most complex, most in depth, and just most detailed map I've ever been on. So here is farm five. Good look at it for you. This one does have chickens, it looks like. If you look in here, it looks like there's some chicken pens in these two guys, which oh, go out that way, which I think is super cool. So that's a neat feature. Uh, so you have kind of those indoor chicken pens, which is awesome. Now, if we do head up here, we do have the Durex factory right here, which they make. Um, <laughs> let me go find them in here. They make the things that shall not be named by YouTube, maybe. I don't know. YouTube probably doesn't care. I'm probably just being dramatic, but whatever. Uh, better safe than sorry, am I right? So <laughs> come down this way. Uh, down here we have Woodworks. So Woodworks looks like the main portion is going to be... Some of this stuff up here it looks like probably a lot of the production is gonna be happening around this building oh excuse me but woodworks um let me go ahead and i think i might have forgotten to write down what woodworks produces i absolutely did well let's go ahead and buy that bad boy oh we own it okay never mind let's take a look in here board pallet production they are going to produce wood chips wood pallets and that's everything so they're gonna produce wood chips and wood pallets for you so there's our woodworks plant there all right, let's head up. We'll take a look at the animal dealer in the barn next, I think is what's next on our list. Yeah, I think so. So we'll head out of there. Now we're going to jump back across, and I apologize. I'm not necessarily following a route, but I'm jumping across the landscape a little bit. But it's mostly, oh, it's right over here. Jeez. So it's this guy right here. But it's just the best way to kind of do a map tour of this and try to keep it at least as condensed as possible. So here we have the animal dealer point, which I believe you can... I may not be able to do it. Yeah, okay. It shows up there in the upper left-hand corner. So it's there. Uh, fantastic. So we have that here. Uh, we also have the barn cell point, which where is that going to be? I wonder if it's in the same location or same general location. Wait a second. Is there a second? That looks like a second cell point there. That might be it. But uh, the barn cell point is in here. Um, let's take a look at what they're going to buy from you. Um, so it shouldn't be any of the basic crops. There we go. They're going to take WCS fermented. They're also going to take grass, hay, and straw. We move further across. They're gonna I thought they took some other things. I'm sure they do towards the end. Yeah, they're going to take lucerne hay, uh, lucerne silage. They're also going to take clover hay, clover silage, um, 
Rain Swath. They're also going to take uh, Wilted Horse Grass, Horse Hay, Horse Silage, uh, Straw Pellets, Hay Pellets, and Maze Silage, Grass Silage, uh, Silage Grass, CCM, uh, Raw CCM, uh, Silage Clover, and Silage Alfalfa. So they're going to take those um, from you right there. There is no BGA on this map, but it kind of, I mean, uh, talking with the uh, creator, there's, uh, I mean, and he mentioned it, which it, it makes perfect sense. They they covered everything that's going to do what you need to do for a BGA, basically, other than maybe the production of digestate. So it's basically all in there. You don't really need a whole lot more going on. So, um, okay. Uh, we're going to head down this way and go to, I think, probably my favorite cell point um, on this whole map. It's very basic, but it's it's my favorite one by far. Just because I think it's hilarious that there's one of them on here in a farming simulator map. So coming up right here. <laughs> oh gosh, I love it. This is the asylum uh, cell point. So you get in that way, it looks like, which that's a scary way to get. Look at that road. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. But uh, this, where's the actual cell point itself? Oof, I can't even find it in here says somewhere in like in that area but uh oh there it is Pfft, right in front of me um so there it is so they take straight jackets there which is that's awesome i'm not gonna lie just the fact that that's in here that's my favorite part about the map i know you're like okay you must be crazy yep i belong in the asylum but that's okay that's why it's my favorite part all right let's go ahead and head up the road a little ways and take a look at the quarry. So the quarry is going to produce sand, gravel, and lime for you. So you have that right here. And if we move up further here, we're going to get to farm four, which farm four has pigs on it. So this is the one that has pigs built in. Um, and again, it's very similar to the other farms. It has a, a that storage section there, as well as a bunker silo, and then there's some various storages. So nothing terribly super crazy compared to the other ones, but you have that set up there for you. I'm um, taking a look here. I think we're going to head over. Yeah, we're getting ready to wrap this up. Well, kind of ish, sort of. But uh, we'll head this way a little bit further. Again, this is going to be a long map tour. There's just so much to cover. Um, so over here, we do... Oh, no, we don't have it here. It's up here. Sorry. Disregard. We'll go to that cell point in a second. Up here, we have the metalworks. And actually, when you buy this, it shows up as two productions. There's ore production and metalworks here. Um, so here, between those two, you're able to produce cans, arasco, buttons, and metal ore. And metal ore is that one that shows up as having an issue um, with it. Yeah, with it being there. So... That is there for you. Then down here we have Wood and Me. That's these guys right here. That's correct, right? Or no, this is Wood and Me is down there. This is Kiosk Southeast. Kiosk Southeast here, they are going to buy uh, Rockstar Freezes, Rockstar Revolts, and Kebabs. Now, Wood and Me is the final sell point, which is up in the woods. So you follow that track. This is like this stuff like this. This is cool. To sell something, you have to just go across there. And I mean... Uh, is it worth it? I don't know. I mean, they don't buy anything super pricey. They buy wood chips up here, crestwood, and charcoal. And that, guys, is all of it. That's I've, I've covered all of it, I think. Right? I think I've covered most of it. Um, so let's take a look here. What do we got going on for crops? Okay. So we, we're going to go to field 64 here because it's got rye on it. So we're going to jump to here and then go to 64. So 64 which is ready to harvest. So here is rye, which if you've seen other maps that have it, it's going to be very similar. So here's what rye is going to look like. Um, now, if we jump over to fruit types two, critical, there's one right there. Jump there. Perfect. It's ready. Is this 101? This is the one that has it, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. So this one is ready to harvest. So it looks, again, it's a grain crop. It looks very similar. That's what it's going to look like. Ready to harvest. Uh, spelt right next door. Is it ready to harvest? It is not. Okay. Let's try 120. It looks not ready to harvest either. Um, perfect. Uh, let's see. Spelt. I wonder if that one's ready to harvest. 66. 66 ready to harvest. Um, no, it's been cultivated. Okay. Um, hopefully we can find some. 84 is it as well. Let's take a look. 84 looks ready to harvest. Ready to harvest? Yes, it is. So here we go. Here's what um, spelt is going to look like. There we go. Yeah, spelt. This is what spelt is going to look like ready to harvest. So the next one we have uh, is millets, which we have. Are they ready to harvest over here? On 85? No, they're not ready to harvest on 85. Um, we could, I mean, I could also. Ooh, there's lots of stuff ready to harvest down here. That's a pretty good concentration up there. So let's go. 
30 millets. So 49 is probably a good chance of being ready to harvest. So let's hop up to here. Sorry, I know the jumping around might drive some of you over the edge. Is it, it was 40, yeah, it was up here. All right, yeah, 40, oh goodness. Millets, 49. Yep, I can see it from here. They look ready to harvest, so. Here is, and we'll see when we get close here. He's ready to harvest, yes. So here's what millets look like, ready to harvest. So you have those there for you. And then poppies, where do we have a good poppy field? 140 might be ready. These guys down here are also ready. So let's go to Durex and try that. Uh, 122 looks ready, maybe. Yeah, that looks ready to harvest. Yes, ready to harvest. Here's some poppies looking like for you. So if you're curious what those guys are look like. Hops, if you haven't seen them, 123, is that one ready to harvest? It does look ready. Let's go jump over here. Ooh, maybe not. Oh yeah, these are ready to harvest. <laughs> Those things look awesome. Um, so yeah, that is, what was that, hops that we're looking at? Yes, hops, they look, those look incredible, ready to harvest. So um, tobacco, that's gonna be a new one. Um, 142 is ready to harvest, let's jump up there. Uh, we'll jump to central. And we'll head this way. I think we're heading the right way. Yep, we are. Okay. 142 is this guy right down here. So this is what tobacco is going to look like ready to harvest. Yeah, look at that. That looks that looks awesome as well. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, jump back over here. Carrots. Are there any carrot fields? I don't see any change. No one's doing carrots. Onions? No one's doing onions. Lettuce. Cabbage. Okay, we got some elephant grass. Uh, we can go back to 53. Let's take a look at the elephant grass and see if this stuff is... That's definitely not ready to harvest. Um, 143 is also elephant grass, right? Is it ready to harvest? Yes, it is. So let's, let's head up to 143. So just past this, we got our tobacco tobacco down below us. I think that was what we had down below us. So jumping down here. So here we go. Here's what elephant grass looks like, ready to harvest. Um, we have, yeah, okay, we got some of that. 144, is that one ready? Nope. Um, 54, is that one ready? Nope. Let's see, 36 I don't think is ready either. Hmm, let's see. 72, 126, or 108. See if any of those are ready. 72, 126, 108. None of those are ready. Ooh, that might be tough. We might not get one of those. Um, we got up here, 90, 18. It was the last two. See if 90 or 18. 90 or 18. None of them are ready to harvest. Okay, so we're not going to take a look at those. Um, let's go back down to, let's see here. Clover. No clover fields. None of the horse grass, and then I don't think there's any pasture grass. So that's what I have to offer as far as those crop types, which means, hey, you didn't get to see it all, so you got to come on here and you got to do it yourself. But uh, I think that's going to be the end of this map tour, guys. If you enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future map tours or early access videos I have for you. Thank you guys for coming and watching. This has been Farmer Cop.